Hello, good morning. Today we are at Botanic Road at our previous customer's home. We're uh, invited back in today to have a look at the home renovation and extension here with Veronica and Dave Whelan. Let's come on inside and have a chat with our clients. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Christopher. Come in. Good to see Hi, you again. Thanks you? a lot. Great. So, Veronica, we're here in your front reception room. I remember when we first surveyed uh, when we first met, um, it needed full repair and, and renovations on joinery, flooring, painting. A nice getaway room, reception room versus the back, which is more open plan and, and spacious. Uh, this is very original and we even kept the windows. Uh, I mean, as you can see, the room is not finished at all. And we really spent just evenings here just watching TV, Dave and I, but <laughs> two in place here uh, as well. But yeah, this room is very far from uh, being finished and it's going to look uh, much, much better. I, I do have a vision, um, I just, you know, yeah. step by step. Yeah, I know a lot of the rooms are not fully interior decorated just yet. Yes. You want to take some time to live in it and get a better feel for the spaces. But in general, we can see your tastes and styles and um, it still looks great and, and homely and very warm. So congratulations on all of the finishes. Mm -hmm. But let's have a look through the back of the main features mainly of the extensions and your upper levels. So there's so many details here. Um, the design team have, have um, implemented exposed steel beams, exposed timber beams, your internal slit windows, you've got your crittle doors, you've got your sliding crittle doors, you've got your hidden utility yeah. with the mock crittle effect here. And then you have your um, cube kitchen, which, which extends um, all the way to the panoramic yes. box window, the feature window, which you can have a look at outside. You've got your Decton Island, your Bora, your beautiful lighting, and then obviously your architectural skylight. Um, yes, it was a bit of a risk. And uh, I actually think that I was being judged for some of my choices, uh, but it was by people who didn't see it until it was finished, just heard what it's going to look like. Um, as you've noticed, we have pink door and the pink color follows through the house, but very little. Uh, we have a pink um, a steel exposed uh, beam. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, how we have designed it and the choices I made. Uh, I think it's amazing and it's original and it's exactly what I wanted. So here at the back front, like you, you can clearly see uh, the finishes of the extension and the architectural detailing is immediate. You've got the oversized 2.6 doors, triple glazed sliders, your feature box window, your zinc cladding on the flat roof and part pitch roof, and then obviously your cedar cladding uh, decorating the, the, the walls and some of the garden space. Um, are you happy with how this resulted in, in, in the final finish? I love the wood and also I love the industrial look of the black frames. Um, very happy with that. The, the box window is just amazing from the inside and from the outside. Yeah. And as you said, the oversized door, um, it's just, you know, it stays open all day long and it brings so much fresh air inside. And uh, I'm very happy that we actually went for the extras. And usually we finish with one meter concrete or footpath, and it's usually for drainage, uh, downpipes, rainwater pipes, AJs. But to get something, um, worthwhile for a barbecue area or exactly. seating area you sort of need eight foot yeah. up to three meters ideally and i know it's an extra investment but i think once it's finished it's worth it and when we have the weather like this uh, you get the benefit for the family and if you uh, step back and look um, on the upper levels you can actually see the architectural design details of the bedroom and bathroom and the attic conversion with the dormer which mimics and, and reflects the finishes on the ground floor which also has your zinc and wood cladding and the beautiful facelift to the building which is the exterior insulation 150 mil wall insulation which you've selected with a so overall the whole if you look at the before and after image of the back elevation it's a full transformation isn't it oh, absolutely. no it's a completely different house uh from the outside and the inside and uh it's not that it just it looks great but it also works great and the work is a great quality and we know that we won't have to do anything to the house for a very, very long time. So Veronica, this is the main bathroom and obviously with your uh, design input here with the design team, you went with your pink again, which is reflective of all of your 
project from the front hall door throughout you've got elements of pink in all rooms but it worked out great um, the bespoke shower non-standard shower tray the fully tanked wet room your tiles your vaulted ceiling Juan's beautifully designed uh, skylight above the bath um, that triangular roof profile is, is uh, visible from the outside and inside and then obviously you have your, your milk frosted glazing with your floating toilet I think it worked out great and you also have your wash hand basin here hidden so here we are in Julian's room I know it's not fully complete yet you've done some murals yourself and, and yes. selected your paint colors um, how do you find how this wor room worked out for you so again I wanted something really nice and cozy uh, for Julian and uh, I absolutely love this wall. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself for doing it. And um, yeah, as you said, it's not fully finished, but uh, it is nice and cozy and natural colors. And um, I think Julian loves it too. Great. And here we have a great view of the fiberglass roof, the architectural skylight, the zinc, and you get a, a better idea of the building works on this level and the complexity of the building works. I think Vilius and the Newhouse team done a great job for um, implement, implementing the steel beams. Uh, the drainage here was, was difficult, the return level landing, the attic. Um, it was a really complex renovation and, and you can see from the higher levels the amount of work and the, the, the scale of the roofs versus the original conservatory and, and glass roof that was here originally. Um, I want to say a big congratulations to the Newhouse team as well. I think they've done a great job on site. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a look on the upper level and the attic and ensuite. So as part of this project we uh, fitted a new stairs a handrail and that went from the ground floor up to the attic level. You can see the carpentry team's finish here. Uh, standard new post and, and oak handrail. So we're now up at the master bedroom, the attic, with an ensuite and walk-in wardrobe. Some of your wardrobe is still out on the, on the floor yes. but the headroom here is great. Uh, the finish again for the, the renovation was amazing. I know the old attic was poorly insulated and the Newhouse team fitted a full engineered steel beam, timber structure, a portal frame and fully airtight uh, membranes were fitted. So the BUR rating was, was also increased. But it's like, a, it's like a new room, it's great. Yes. How do you find it? No, it's great. It's very cozy here and uh, Planting and Newhouse did a great job insulating it and um, it's really warm and as I said we love this room uh, and as you said it's not finished we're missing wardrobes but we want to invest in a good fitted wardrobe so yeah. again that's something that has to wait and yeah. we don't mind but um, yeah yeah we're very happy with uh, my selections <laughs> great and then you have your your beautiful skyline here also here the original slate was replaced the main roof was fully replaced um, you can see the the return level was also replaced new skylights um, the ridge tiles were uh, refitted, the chimney pointing was, was done, the LED, LED flashing. En suite you've got over 2 meter head clearance and even within an attic space it's possible to get a comfortable en suite. You've got your uh, mechanical extractor and you also have your skylight, your Velux window skylight. Your comfortable walk-in uh, shower and, and tanked area and obviously the beautiful tiles selected by Veronica. Um, and then obviously here you have your, your, your attic storage. So here you have your plant and services. There's some family storage in here, but you can see the tanks and you can see the, the airtight membranes. Um, it's, a, it's an overflow space for the family across the whole eaves. So yeah, I think all in all, it's been a, a, an excellent attic conversion as a, a separate project to the rest of the home. This was always um, um, an, over, an optional extra, an overhead that you, you were considering but on completion now, it's, it's one of the best rooms in the home, so well done, congratulations. Thank you, Chris. My name is David Whelan, my wife, Veronica, um, and we had been living in Limerick, um, but uh, I had changed job and needed to uh, source a place to stay in Dublin. And um, we had uh, an old um, place in the centre of town and we needed to uh, upgrade given that we had uh, a small child and we had, we were eager to uh, increase the family as well so we needed a, a bigger place 
Um, so we looked around and this area uh, appealed to us very much because of the quiet nature of the street um, and the amenities in the area. There's a lot of GAA in Glasnevin um, and a lot of uh, schools and Joe Condo is just down the, Fibster is just down the road. Um, so good shoppings um, and we chose this house. Um, and it was not in a great state when we bought. So we started to research. In fact, at the beginning, we really just wanted to update the look of the house, maybe put a, a lick of paint uh, internally. Uh, but over time, we kind of re we realized that we'd probably need to do a little bit more work on it. So um, we searched around and, and Nika uh, did a lot of work with my mum on sourcing a, uh, a good contractor and we came across Plantech. Yep. How did we meet Plantech? So it was actually uh, Dave's mom, uh, my mom-in-law, uh, who found Plantech in the RDS. And uh, I think what she was looking for was a um, one-stop shop, a company who will do everything from designing the house to giving us the key to it. And that's exactly what happened with Plantech and New House. Yep, and as, as, as Dave said, um, the house, I think it was in a really bad condition, it but, great. Uh, sorry? It wasn't great. It wasn't great, but I loved it because I could see the potential and I could see what we could do here, and um, I, just, I just loved it for the same reasons Dave said. Um, yeah. And yeah, from a painting job, it, it just became um, a brand new house. The process overall was very easy with everyone from the very beginning. Our architect was uh, Juan, who was amazing. I mean, I was the one who was doing most of the meetings and the work and everything because Dave is working full time and he was busy. Uh, but I enjoyed it, even it was <laughs> stressful at times. But um, yeah, it, I mean, from the initial visit with, with you and Juan and all the rest of the people, um, you know, I have been asked many times what I want, what is my vision, and then we had a meeting in your office where we talked about all the details and everything much more for about, I think, two hours, and then uh, Juan came back with three different designs of the house, especially the downstairs, because that was the biggest work, I think, because you wouldn't recognize the house. So what I did, I took a bit from here, a bit from there, and a bit from the last one. And that's how we came up with the, the dream house for us with Juan. So we did have a budget uh, that we agreed on with Plantec and Newhouse. Uh, it did get extended <laughs> at the end uh, because uh, we found out that we need to change the roof yeah. and the staircase. Yeah, it was an old, it, it, it's an old building. 100 years um, old. And there was not much work done on it prior to mm -hmm. our arrival. Yeah. Um, so it pretty much was as it was back in the early 1900s. So there was a bit of work to be done, especially with the roof. Yeah. You know, we wanted really to future-proof the house. So a lot of work at the beginning planning stage was done in relation to um, uh, insulation. Yes. Uh, and, and so while the cost increased, um, we probably would have expected that it, at, at, that it would increase at some stage, but it was manageable. The transparency and um, the clarity with which uh, the company kind of came to us with uh, estimates um, was was uh, you know appropriate and, and impressive, and so we were never re we always knew exactly where the costings were, yeah. and we were advised where it might increase. And we were given the options then as well. Yeah. So I think I will speak mm -hmm. now because again it was me dealing with uh, most of those people and um, everyone was really good. They were amazing. Vilius is funny as well. And uh, I mean when it comes to uh, phone calls, messages, emails, I never had to wait for longer than a day. Everyone was always available um, because we have now a two-year-old uh, it was sometimes difficult for me to uh, meet at certain times, but 
they always, everyone always worked around my time schedule or our son's time schedule. Everything was just really good. I have nothing to complain about. I was always very happy and, uh, you know, all the meetings here in the house. I mean, at one stage, I remember coming here with your mom and they were literally like no walls, no ground. There was, this didn't exist at all. And there was a big digger in the middle of the, the space here <laughs> and we were outside. It was raining and I was just looking at the house. I was like, where is the house? Uh, so, yeah, it's just from, from nothing, we, we came to this beautiful dream home that I helped to design for us. <laughs> I was always hoping that one day I will be able to have my own home, uh, but I never dreamt of actually being able to design my own home the way I wanted it. Uh, I mean, kind of agreement between Dave and I was that he doesn't really want to make much decisions about colors or tiles and stuff like this. And I was, I was actually very happy <laughs> that he, you know, he didn't have much input into it and I could make the decisions for us. Mm -hmm. But I did come to him and ask him, you know, how would you like it and uh, stuff like this. And um, home to me was always, when you come in, you feel welcome and warm and cozy and uh, I think I know that we have achieved that because that's exactly how we feel here and um, uh, yeah I do love art and I love colors but very settled here I love wood and natural materials and you will see later that <laughs> some of the choices were a little bold but we love them <laughs> yeah so I mean generally very good um, I think that there was no, there was rarely a issue with um, queries that might have um, occurred to us. Obviously, um, there's always that tension between the client and the and the contractor about what can be done and what can't be done. Um, and I think we had an issue with the bath that was too big, and we wanted to keep it. And, and eventually, it, it was there. I mean, there was discussions, and eventually, we came to an agreeable position. Um, and you know that's that's the way it is. But um, we had no issues at all with uh, with with the with the building of the of the of the, of the house. You know, it was always very uh, open and uh, kind of collaborative way. Even though at the beginning we didn't foresee um, doing such a massive big piece of work, um, when we decided to do it. Um, the whole point was to, as I say, future-proof, so that in relation to heating, um, you know, materials, um, future issues, risks that might have occurred, that we'd head it off immediately. So um, I foresee, given the quality of the work done, um, that we won't have any major issues going forward for many years, mm -hmm. and touch wood, but this uh, you know so from our point of view everyone is different from our point of view i think um we really just wanted to get a massive job done and over with um and it took a while uh it took a lot longer than we thought in in the sense that from from the, the beginning coming coming up to to double first um but at the same time it was i think that it was a a very good uh, decision to make um for the future so um for in in respect of um, you know homeowners, um, if if you want to say anything about that, but from our point of view, you know it was it was to try and make it as future proof as possible. Yeah, I think I will just add that I would definitely recommend people to think about who they are, their lifestyle, if they want a family, if they have one how old are the children and uh, really about if they have that chance to do this big job, um, to do exactly what they want and find a company who will work with them and who will make those dreams happen for them. I, I agree and also I just add that um, you know for certain neighborhoods as well it's very good to talk to neighbors um, mm -hmm. and to knock on doors 
uh, especially if you're in a um, terraced uh, estate or something like that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I will speak for myself and for my husband, uh, but we also want to say thank you to uh, you, Christopher, and the whole uh, new house and plant tech team. You have been all very amazing and a uh, pleasure to work with from day one until today. So thank you very much for everything.